Euclidean geometry. Euclidean geometry most commonly refers to the geometry of the flat two-dimensional infinite plane. It is named for ancient Greek mathematician Euclid, who is well known for developing a system of five axioms that produces the geometry of this plane. Several other equivalent systems of axioms have been found. Higher dimensional Euclidean spaces have also been defined. David Hilbert proposed a set of 20 axioms for 3D Euclidean space, but for higher dimensions, the geometry is defined by the n-dimensional vector space Rn, coupled with the standard dot product. Euclidean space is the basic form of geometry one typically learns in high school and that single and multivariable calculus is based on. Until the discovery of general relativity, it was also thought to be the geometry of space and Newtonian physics is based on this assumption. Hey, how do you make a tree dance? You give the logarithm. And if you like that joke, hit that subscribe button. And if you didn't, uh, hit the subscribe button anyway because we want you to be part of the Scholar Sauce community. All right, let's get back to the video. Trigonometry. Trigonometry, which literally means measuring triangles, is the study of the mathematics of angles and triangles and includes the study of the six trigonometric functions. Trigonometry is a subtopic of Euclidean geometry. The six trigonometric functions are periodic and have applications to more than just triangles. The trig functions also exhibit wave-like behavior and so have applications to any study of waves. Applications of trigonometry include surveying, aviation, navigation, astronomy, criminology, music, physics, and more. Analytic geometry. Analytic geometry is the study of the Euclidean geometry of the plane and 3D space using coordinates. This includes the treatment of the plane in either Cartesian or polar coordinates or other similar coordinate systems. Similarly, this includes the treatment of 3D space in Cartesian, cylindrical, or spherical coordinates or other similar coordinate systems. Analytic geometry is the point of view of Euclidean geometry that is used in calculus, physics, engineering, and other physical sciences. Applications of analytic geometry are primarily in physics and engineering, including aviation, rocketry, space science, and space flight. It is also part of the foundation of other mathematical fields of geometry, including algebraic and differential geometry. Hyperbolic geometry. After Euclid defined the Euclidean geometry of the plane using five axioms, it was thought for a long time that the first four of his axioms might imply the fifth. A lot of work went into trying to prove this, but to no avail. In the mid-19th century, mathematicians found an example of a space that satisfied the first four of Euclid's axioms, but failed the fifth. This proved that to obtain Euclidean geometry, one had to assume all five of Euclid's axioms, but it also showed that other types of planar geometries existed. This new type of non-Euclidean planar geometry was called hyperbolic geometry. Hyperbolic geometry most commonly refers to the geometry geometry of the negatively curved two-dimensional hyperbolic plane. This plane is constructed using four of the five axioms that Euclid used to define Euclidean geometry. However, Euclid's fifth axiom concerning parallelism is replaced with the hyperbolic parallel postulate. This produces a completely consistent axiomatic system describing a non-Euclidean 2D plane. In this geometry, many facts that hold in Euclidean geometry fail. For example, the angle sum of a triangle is strictly less than 180 degrees, and given any line and a point off the line, there is more than one line through that point that is parallel to the line. For a more complete discussion of the discovery of hyperbolic geometry, I have a series of two videos that delve into this story. Links for those videos are in the description, and I hope you'll give them a watch. Higher dimensional hyperbolic geometries also exist and are typically defined in the language of Riemannian manifolds in differential geometry. Applications of hyperbolic geometry include crystallography biology, cosmology, general relativity, and oddly enough, crochet. Hyperbolic geometry is also the inspiration for some of the imagery in H.P. Lovecraft's cosmic horror stories. Spherical geometry. Spherical geometry refers primarily to the geometry of the 2D sphere, such as the surface of the Earth or how we visualize the sky. Like hyperbolic geometry, this is another example of a two-dimensional non-Euclidean geometry, but in this case, the space is compact. In spherical geometry, lines are great circles, and they behave very differently from Euclidean lines. Notable differences between spherical geometry and Euclidean geometry are that in spherical geometry, every triangle has more than 180 degrees, and there are no parallel lines. Applications of spherical geometry include navigation, GPS, astronomy, cosmology, and more. Differential geometry. Differential geometry is the study of the geometry of smooth spaces called differentiable manifolds. A manifold is a space that looks locally like n-dimensional Euclidean space. The manifolds are required to be smooth so that one can do calculus on them. Differential geometry extends the ideas first found in hyperbolic and spherical geometry to any kind of manifold. It combines ideas from calculus, topology, geometry, and linear algebra. The classical study of differential geometry began with understanding curves and surfaces in 3D Euclidean space, but was extended to abstract smooth manifolds not long after. Differential geometry is the language of general relativity, quantum field theory, and the standard model of physics. It finds applications in physics, chemistry, engineering, control theory, economics, computer graphics, machine learning, and more. Riemannian and semi-Riemannian geometry. 
Riemannian geometry is a subtopic of differential geometry that studies differentiable manifolds imbued with a metric that induces a smoothly varying positive definite inner product on the tangent vector space at any point on the manifold. This metric induces a geometry on the space providing a length measure and definition of an angle measure. This also allows for the computation of the curvature of the manifold as well as the straightest possible paths on the manifold called geodesics which also happen to be length minimizing curves. If the metric is allowed to induce an inner product that is not necessarily positive definite then the manifold is called a semi-Riemannian manifold. Space-time in general relativity is understood to be a curved, four-dimensional, three space dimensions and one time dimension, semi-Riemannian manifold. In general relativity, gravity is realized as massive objects curving space-time around them, and objects traveling under the influence of the gravity of the massive object follow the geodesics of the space. Applications of Riemannian and semi-Riemannian geometry include general relativity, GPS, machine learning, robotics, computer graphics, information geometry, and more. Topology. Topology is the study of the properties of a shape that are invariant under continuous deformation. For example, how many holes a surface has is such a property called the genus of the surface. This is why a coffee mug and a donut are the same space topologically, since they each only have one hole and can be continuously deformed into each other. Topology studies these properties by considering an axiomatic structure on certain sets that are referred to as open sets. Topology is closely related to geometry, and indeed it has many applications to geometric fields of mathematics, such as differential geometry, Riemannian geometry, knot theory, complex analysis, and more. Topology also has many real-world applications, including topological insulators, topological data analysis, biology, chemistry, image analysis, and more. Algebraic topology. Algebraic topology uses concepts from abstract algebra to analyze topological spaces these include important groups such as the fundamental group and other homotopy groups, homology and cohomology, manifolds, knots, simplicial complexes, and so on. Applications of algebraic topology include geometry, differential equations, neuroscience, physics, biology, engineering, data analysis, geographic information systems, neural networks, quantum mechanics, material science, and more. Differential topology. Differential topology is the study of the topological properties of differentiable manifolds, such as how many holes the manifold has, its homotopy type, and so on. This is in contrast to differential geometry, which is concerned with the geometric properties of such manifolds, such as distance and size. Differential topology has applications to general relativity to understand the topology of spacetime, quantum field theory, and more. Computational topology. Computational topology is the development, analysis, and application of efficient algorithms to solve topological problems. This has applications to computational geometry, graphics, robotics, social science, biology, chemistry, and more. Geometric analysis. Geometric analysis is the application of the study of differential equations to differential geometry and differential topology. This includes using geometrical methods to study and solve partial differential equations and using the theory of partial differential equations to solve problems in geometry. Moreover, it includes solving differential equations on manifolds as well as the calculus of variations. Important subtopics of geometric analysis include minimal surfaces and geometric flows. Geometric analysis has applications to general relativity, gauge theory, string theory, quantum mechanics, image processing, quantum computing, information geometry, mathematical biology, and more. Algebraic geometry. Algebraic geometry uses abstract algebra techniques to solve problems in geometry. The main object of study in algebraic geometry are the geometric versions of solutions of systems of polynomial equations. Such solution sets may be curves or surfaces. Solution sets that are curves are the most commonly studied. Questions about such curves range from their singular points to the topology of the solution set. Applications of algebraic geometry include coding theory, cryptography, robotics, computer vision calibration, computer-aided design, or CAD, 3D printing, string theory, quantum field theory, and more. Knot theory. Knot theory is the study of mathematical knots. Though inspired by physical knots, a mathematical knot differs from physical ones in that both ends are joined together. Mathematically, a knot is the image of a circle under a one-to-one -one continuous map into R3. Two knots are considered equivalent if there is a way to continuously deform one knot into the other without breaking it. An important problem in knot theory is knowing when two knots are equivalent. One way to do this is to compute various knot invariants, which are quantities that don't change under a continuous deformation. If two knots had different values of an invariant, then they are definitely not equivalent knots. There are applications of knot theory to biology and DNA analysis, chemistry, quantum physics, robotics and cable control, computer graphics, cryptography, manufacturing, and more. And that's it for part three of every type of map. In this video, we covered every type of geometry. In parts one and two, we covered every type of calculus and every type of algebra. If you missed those parts, you can find a playlist with all the videos here. In part four, we will look at every type of discrete mathematics and you can find that video here. If you're enjoying our content, please subscribe and check out our other videos such as this one where we explain why you should stop saying that pi is infinite. We'll see you next time on Scholar Sauce.